What is up YouTube? My name is Dylan and welcome to my channel. This is Vanboy Auto Styling. So what this channel is gonna be focused on is basically me modifying um, cars that I own. I've got a really exciting start for this channel. Um, I recently just bought a new car and I'm really looking forward to modifying it, um, dressing it up, just taking it from basically stock because it is, it is very stock right now. I'm looking at it right now and it looks like an old man car. But I'm going to be taking it from stock to something that I think is really dope. And hopefully you guys will too. So let me give you a little bit of a backstory um, of how I got this car. So I recently traded in my last car, which was a 2018 Honda Civic Si Coupe. It was really dope. I had done a lot of things to it. I'll throw some pictures up um, as I'm talking about it. But it was lowered. It had um, kind of a custom body kit, if you will, lips, um, side skirt. I had custom wheels on it, and under the hood, I had done a full cold air intake, catless downpipe, um, straight through exhaust, stainless steel exhaust, and it was it was a mean car. It was really dope. I had it tuned, of course, and it was putting down some pretty serious power for a Honda Civic, which is what all Honda guys say. It's pretty fast for a Honda. However, I needed a little bit more room. Um, it was a two-door. It was really small, and it was really low, and it was scraping on a lot of things, which I'll probably end up doing to this car too, but at least this one has four doors. It's a lot bigger, has a really spacious trunk, so I should be able to um, kind of grow into this car and use it for as a daily driver as well and not just look cool. So without further ado, let me introduce you to the first car that we're gonna be working on here on the channel. So this is my 2016 BMW F30 328i. So for those of you who don't really know anything about BMW, um, the F30 is basically the sixth generation of the 3 Series, which is their compact sports car. Mine, the uh, 328i, is powered by a 2 liter inline 4 cylinder that's um, paired to a twin scroll turbo. Um, I think factory, they say it puts out about 240 horsepower and 250 foot pounds of torque. Um, but the potential for these cars, which is one of the reasons I really wanted to get into this, is to go much higher than that. Um, even just on a tune with everything else stock, but we'll be going aftermarket, um, hopefully in the near future. The reason why I picked this car is because up until I had that Honda Civic, I had driven exclusively BMWs. Um, my dad's a really big BMW enthusiast, and my first car was something that he had picked for me. It was a 1999 BMW 318iS, which was a two-door, um, base model, entry level coupe. It didn't even have real leather seats. It was like that faux leather, but I loved it. And it's a great driving car. BMWs are known for their handling. Um, and that's for a great reason. It's one of the best handling cars I've driven. My last car before the Honda was an E90 BMW. It was a 2008, phenomenal handling. Um, so I really just wanted to get back into kind of what I was familiar with and what I'd kind of grown to love. I have a ton of plans for this car, um, aesthetically and performance wise. So just to list a few, kind of give you guys an idea of what I'm planning on doing here. Um, some of the earliest things I want to do are swap out these grills for the M Sport Blackout Grill. The, this um, stock, this comes with the kind of the chrome trim around the grill. I'm just not a big fan of the chrome. I like the blackout look a little bit better. I want to get a, um, a front lip for this bumper. This is actually not the M Sport bumper. This is kind of the baseline sport line. They call it bumper. Um, it's not as aggressive looking as the M package. However, they do make some nice splitters and lips for this that for the short term will be what I'm looking at doing. I also want to get the, um, the M Sport mirror covers. It's just a little black cover over the mirror. These are um, body paint matched right now, kind of base mirrors. 
The M Sport's a little bit more aggressive and just looks a little bit cooler, something that a lot of guys do. I also want to get a rear spoiler, the um, M Sport spoiler. I can uh, throw a picture up of what it looks like. Um, common to come across, it's a, again another common mod that a lot of people do on the BMWs. I also want to vinyl wrap the roof, probably gloss black. I think it'll look really good, um, give it again that, that sportier look. Um, I also will be lowering the car, I've actually already ordered the H&R Super Sport Springs which should provide a pretty good drop on this particular car. Um, I will show you guys the wheels and tires, right now it's sitting on the stock 17s with a, I believe it's a 225.50 R17 tire on there, so basically looks like a truck tire, it's horrendous, it's honestly probably the only thing that's making this not look that cool right now. Um, but wheels and tires will be later on down the road, that's a pretty expensive upgrade. For now, I'm thinking I'm going to Plasti Dip the wheels black. I've got the new Plasti Dip, it's called Lux or something, um, metallic black with a glossifier as well. I have to excuse my dog over there. But yeah, and then on the inside I would like to um, vinyl wrap some of the wood trim um, in a faux carbon fiber, I think it'll make it look a little bit more sporty. And then of course, performance wise, I do plan on adding a cold air intake, maybe a catless downpipe down the road, um, we'll see what that looks like. Definitely looking at a tune, probably the boot mode, um, I think is one of the more common ones that people use on these cars. And then of course, a um, probably a straight pipe uh, muffler delete. A lot of people go with aftermarket exhaust systems for this car, but I've found, at least on internet videos and on forums, that they actually sound really good with just the uh, stock muffler deleted on them. And I actually did the same thing on my E90 328. Um, however, that one was the inline six, the uh, N54 motor, but it sounded really good, and I'm sure this one will sound really good too. But yeah, I've got a lot of plans for the car, and my plan is also to document them on this YouTube channel. So. Anything I do, any mods, any customizations, even just things like detailing, um, adding vinyls, I do want to make videos on that and just kind of document the journey and share with you guys. If there's anybody else out there that just picked up one of these or has one in the family and wants to do something similar to it, so yeah. So if that sounds interesting and you want to follow along the build, see how things go, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel as well. And also, if you would like to support the channel, um, help me out with buying some of these mods and all. I do make vinyl decals for cars and for anything you want to stick a decal on, on Etsy. Um, it's called Van Boy Decals and I'll link that down below as well. But yeah, I'm always making new designs and uploading them to the shop and um, I cut them all here at home and ship them out to you guys all over the US and all over the, all over the world. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely check that out. It really helps out the channel as well. So thank you for checking out this intro video. Once again, my name is Dylan. This is Van Boy Auto Styling, and I hope to see you all in the next video.